Hello there guys, Fing here, and welcome back to some more Kata. Okay, okay, so last time we finished searching down here, I mean, there's a few houses here that we haven't really searched, but it just wasn't worth it, there's just too many Zeds down now, I don't really want to uh, handle all of them. So, we've got what we need, well, what we could get and scrounge, and we're heading back home now, and then I think we might think about moving base since there literally is nothing around here at all to really concern ourselves with um i'm debating whether we should go this way or if we should just go north up this way we've got plenty of we've got plenty of fuel anyway to get us where we want to go and we can always siphon more off if needed but I think what I want to do first is I want to check this little it's not even a cul-de-sac you, you can't even call it that it's like three houses I just want to check and see if there's any diesel based vehicles there if we can get a little bit more diesel then maybe we could take the luxury RV but I'm not holding my breath in fact, let's just go and go there now. Let's just check it out now and see if we can find if there is any diesel-based vehicles. Pretty sure there wasn't, though. Yeah, there's an electric one there. Oh, there might be, actually. That that buzz might be diesel. Yeah, then. All right, let's just stop. Stop driving, get out the car. Uh, let me just go ahead and grab my stuff for this, just in case we do find it. I might as well take take the um, rest of the fuel from these. Well. I mean, that's a we could we could get the solar panels as well. That might be a good idea. Let me go ahead and get my toolbox out for this. So we should be able to remove the solar panels pretty easily, as you can see. Like so. Uh, we might as well go ahead and grab the swivel batteries out as well. There we go. Can we carry them all? Not quite. Uh, what we can probably do though is uh, move them the old fashioned way. There we go. Like that. Oops. There we go. They should fit in the. Uh, they should fit in there, shouldn't they? There we go. Plenty of space. Right. Uh, yeah, take safe mode off. Why, why safe mode still? Oh, I was because I was filming, wasn't it? That's all. So there's no gas in there. Uh, do, 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 do. What was in there? Oh, there is. Oh, there's no diesel in there though. <laughs> yeah, damn it. God damn it. No gas in there. I think I did already take most of the gas out though. To be honest. Yes. Decent amount of battery in here. Uh, we are going to take out some of these cargo spaces since you know they are cargo spaces. Might as well take them all out. I am tired again already. Not really surprising when you think about it. It's going to take ages to get over there now, isn't it? be easy for the light there so as it looks right there we go <laughs> slowly but surely yeah I did speed that up a little bit so you don't uh, <laughs> have to watch me painfully do all that um, what was this up here was this diesel oh shit 5% diesel um, now that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> How much is this going to give us? Is it going to give us a lot? It has. It's give us quite a bit. Hmm. 
Now, question time, do I go back and get the RV? Getting the RV would save a hell of a lot of time with making certain stuff. The only thing though is we would need some more duct tape and stuff. Let's just uh, reverse back a bit. Right. I mean, 6% diesel, is that really enough to get us where we want to go? Possibly. Another thing we're going to think about as well is that we're not going to be able to get, we're not going to be able to follow this road down here because the mines, anyway. And it will be a lot more hard to navigate that, wouldn't it? I my mind not necessarily, we can still navigate through the fields, that's not too big of a deal. It would then be a case of, well, maybe we should probably go this way and check up north. I think what might be better though is detect, detect the car that way instead. I think that might be better. Take the car that way and check up north rather than anything else. Alright. Um, stop driving. It's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Now, did we have um, did we have any shopping carts or anything? We didn't, did we? God damn it. Oh yeah, and we got oh, we got more ammo and stuff, didn't we? Hang on a sec. Let's see what we actually have got. Oh, not too, but actually we have got plenty of um, plenty of ammo and stuff. It's from nineteen nine 19s there. We got holster and all the other stuff. Oh yeah, we got them plutonium cells as well. That'll be useful. Make a fast draw holster. Pardon me. I can make a fast draw holster now. Might not be a bad idea. Make a few of those. Oh yeah, what was the other helmet I got? Um do, 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 where was the helmet? Army oh, helmet, there we go. That's the one we want because that that that's just gonna encumber our head. You can't wear another helmet. Oh yeah. Duh. Still got my motorcycle helmet on. <laughs> there we go. That's better. That should be a lot better now. Yeah, there we are. It's so much better. It's probably going to be a lot more, um, a lot more armor as well. I would have thought. Wow, that really does fuck up your dodge skill a lot, doesn't it? Having, having that. Okay. Um, I'm going to quickly put a um, cut in here and um, I'm just going to just debate what I'm going to do. Alright, and so I've just had a look and what I've actually got because I couldn't remember what the hell I've actually got. But I don't seem to have a welder anywhere and I could have sworn I did have one. Um, or maybe it was just a toolkit. Either way, it's a bit... Actually, we have got duct tape there. Um, that might be enough, although I doubt it. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to get my toolbox that I've left in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a makeshift welder. Where's my toolbox gone? It's in here, isn't it? Toolbox, toolbox, toolbox. Fuck's sake! Let's do it. The, I'm going to have to do it the manual way. Not the manual way, the quick way. Here we go. Um, where's the toolbox gone? Toolbox. Oh, I'm carrying the toolbox. Oh, a fucking noob. Alright, I've got it. Oh, I've got it. Oh, that's actually filled up with water as well. Fantastic. Right. Oh, I've already took apart that. Oh, shot. The fuck? 
Okay, so I'm gonna need some more copper wires. I should be able to make some with my electronic skill. Hang on a sec. Copper wire. I got no copper wires. Really? Hang on a second. There's no copper wire there. Am I having? Hang on. Copper wire. Copper wire. Sec. Hang on, is it under materials? Copper one. The scrap copper. Oh, hang on a sec. I've, where's the? Have I got a? Right. I don't seem to have an electronics book. Well, shit. What's my electronics at? My electronics are free. Surely I should be able to make copper wire with that. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just being a, a noob. Hang on a sec. Copper. Okay, so I'm actually confused now. <laughs> I can't make copper wire. Why can't I make copper wire? Okay. Has that changed? Or has it... I don't know. Alright. Alright. Okay. Because we're going to be here forever otherwise. So let's just have a look see if we can find anything that's got copper wires in. Uh, flashlight might have some copper wires in. Let me take a flashlight. Um, what else might have copper wires? Mess kit might have copper wires. I want to keep that though if I can. Plastic bag with scalpel. Um, soldering iron might, but again, I've only got one soldering iron. Uh, the UPS should have copper wires. Let's see if we can uh, do this then. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We've got copper wires now. That's fantastic. So we should now be able to make the makeshift welder. There we go. So we'll make that. There we go. We've now got makeshift welder. Uh, to these. Now we need batteries. Batteries. Do 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 do. Seriously, we've got no spare batteries anywhere. Oh fucking hell! <sighs> that soldering iron's got batteries. The mess kit's got batteries, but not a lot. All the flashlights have got batteries. Let's just get all the flashlights and load them. I could have sworn I had much more battery-based stuff than this, and that's going to be a problem if I haven't. God damn it. Well, we've got 300 batteries there. It's not going to be enough for what I want to do, though. Oh, yeah, and we're actually quite thirsty and stuff now as well. Let me just go ahead and uh, drink some of that. Drink some more of that. And we should have something to eat around here. Well, vegetables are off. Um, I should have plenty in here. In my car. I suppose the only thing I can really do is just install loads of cargo carriers in this car. And pray we find another type of vehicle when we go somewhere else. <laughs> That's the only thing I can really think of. That would be useful. That would be, you know, worth doing. Right, we've got some bananas there. You know what, I can just eat that as it is, so... Fuck it, I'll just eat it. There we 
we go. Use your pick lock. No, I don't want to use a pit lock. I want it. I don't want to eat it either. It's because I've activated it instead. That's why. All right. So we are tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, I should be able to go to sleep pretty easily. He says. There we go. Keep nice and warm. Probably will be night time now. By the time we, yeah, by the time we come around as I thought. Okay. I'll just have some water. Really not sure what I should do. Hang on a sec. I mean, if it's possible, can I make... <sighs> Hang on, it's not under there, it's under, it's under parts, isn't it? Or is it? No, must not be. I was hoping to make a welding station. The forge, there's the Foucault. I haven't got the now out through it then by the look of it. Oh, I can make batteries. We got vinegar. Uh, how many can we make of these? Hmm. Let's just see how many we can make. Oh, okay, we can make up to eight. And how long is that going to take? For water? You know what? Let's make them. That's a lot of batteries, and that will uh, give us quite a lot to mess around with. So what we'll do now is we'll get a makeshift world and we'll reload it. Okay. I think we're in a good position now to, at the very least, equip some of these things. So hang on, let me just go ahead and just move all this onto the floor. Same with this, move all this onto the floor. Okay, I'm going to need welding goggles, and I'm pretty sure I picked quite a few of those up. Let's just do it like this instead. Welding goggles, welding, well, fuck's my welding goggles gone? Oh, welding goggles, there we go. Alright, so with that in mind, we should now be able to take off this trunk and take off this trunk and we should now be able to install this cargo space <coughs> and install this cargo space where's it gone okay let's take off this seat well we've got to move the seat belt first and then the seat and then we'll install the other cargo space. There we go. Right. Uh, we can also go ahead and install the battery case and install the battery. Now, the worst, I can actually put a small electric motor on this as well. And at least then it all it'll serve as a dual. I think it will anyway. I'm actually not sure if that work if that if that works like that no more. It might not. Doesn't matter. At this point. I mean, that's already got cargo space in it. Okay, I think. I think that'll do. Maybe I could install just the what? Why can't I install anything else? Is it because I've run out of battery and what makes you feel that it could be? It could very well be, but it's not, apparently. Right, why can't I install these solar panels? I 
Oh yeah, level 4 mechanics. Bollocks. I forgot about that. I'd forgot about that. Alright, no problem. I can just plot them in there. Oh, Feng, look what you've done, you donkey. Let's take the short rope. Seat, frame. Right, just plonk everything else in there. Now, all that just in there, just make sure it's. There we go, that'll do. Basically, I'm just making it easier for me to load and stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly back um, this up. There. Oh, shh. Yeah, well done, me. This is how you don't drive vehicles, by the way, guys. <laughs> there we go. Right. So now, basically, we're just going to... If we do that, and then do that, and then basically we're just going to get everything. Well, not everything, because obviously, as you can see, there's rotten meat there. We don't really want to take that, do we? But everything else we can take with us... Hopefully. There we go. Should have enough room for this, I would have thought. Possibly. But I just want to get away from here because it's really not that great of a place. And yeah, we'll check. We'll check our, um, our ammo's and stuff soon as well. Right, all that over there, like so. Yeah, we got plenty of space for this. Some um, I don't know what I was moving for. We got plenty of space. Go. Uh, I will actually stick a little cut here so you don't have to watch me do this. <laughs> Alrighty then, so we're pretty much uh, nearly done. I actually want to very quickly just, I'm probably going to have to do it like this instead. So if I just go all, and we'll just go like that. There we go, that's easier. So I just want to have a quick look and see what I can change out for some of these. I mean, we've got, that's a submachine gun, isn't it? That, um, Caltech. Yeah, it takes the Glock mag. It's actually a... No, it's a rifle. Wow, that's actually a rifle. It's weird, isn't it? It's actually got an integrated uh, folding stock. Hmm. Alright. Um, I think um, I think what I'm actually going to do with that, though, is I'm actually going to unload it. So, let's just go ahead and unload that, because that's actually got a full Glock mag. So that's really nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just plonk it uh, over here since we don't really need it. There we go. Um, I'm gonna what I might do as well with the I might just get rid of the Ruger because it's not that great. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah, just weld that and then plop it in. Oh shit! I don't know what I've done wrong there. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's because there's too much stuff there. I'll have to stick it there instead. So we'll plant that there and the mag in there. Right. So currently we've got our Glock. We've got the M4A1. Uh, I actually do want to take that M4A1 off as well. And I think I'm going to change that for a shotgun instead. I think. I think that's all I want to do. 
Yeah, I think I will I'll change that for um, for the shotgun instead. So let me go ahead and just plonk those in there. I can put my other Glock mag, mag, in, mag in my uh, leg pouch. There we go. And I'll just drop the other. So now we should have access to... Oh yeah, is that a... Well, that, was one of the sni that was a sniper rifle, wasn't it? Flip my carbine. We have got a Lamat revolver, but it takes 4-4. Four, four. We've got no 4-4s four, as of yet. So we've even got a choice between the Mossberg and the Remington. Oh, actually there's the auto shotgun as well. I actually want to see what the uh, difference is between these. So the Mossberg is 8 rounds of shot. That's got 6 rounds of shot with less dispersion. And you've got the auto shotgun. But that takes caseless shotgun rounds though. So that's not quite... Right, maybe we should take the... Maybe we should use the 870. So dispersion's 90. Aim speed four four. Aim speed's exactly the same. That one's actually got that one's actually got less recoil on it though. High durability and low recoil. Ah, uh, maybe we'd choose the Mossberg five hundred then instead. Yeah, we'll use the Mossberg five hundred. So we'll do that, and we should have some shots somewhere. Need to go all the way down here. Hang on, we missed it. Uh, we've got bird shot or shotgun slug. You know what? The shotgun slug might be better, possibly. Yeah, we'll go with the slug. Uh, yeah. It is fairly inaccurate and does little damage, but work, works like in a pinch. Well, hang on. What, what's the other? The other kind then I mean it's bird shot isn't it we haven't actually got no proper shot it's actually slightly better than that one <laughs> but it's got less range so that's only thing um yeah we'll just use the uh, shot then I think so if I go ahead and reload the normal bird shot there we go and then we'll activate that on our back like so I uh, should be able to make a fast draw holster I'm gonna go ahead and make two of those I think we can make two of those should be able to there we go so we got one on one leg and one on the other leg uh, our legs will be slightly encumbered now but that should be fine because we have got the leg ammo pouches, we could actually change that to the uh, torso pouch or the ankle pouch. So that's not too big of a deal either. But for now we're fine, we'll just go ahead and pl pl pluck our Glock in. I don't think there was another handgun though, was there? We don't have any other handgun type weapons that we that we've got the oh hang on six saw maybe hmm don't think so nah there isn't okay no problem so we'll stick with what we've got I'm gonna need a drink before we go so let's go ahead and drink some clean water and have some uh, do, 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 do. Cheese. Oh, we got some cheese there. I didn't even realize we got cheese. Fantastic. And then we can go and um, go on an adventure. Because why not? Seems like a fantastic idea. Apparently, I've got a level funnel on me as well. Alright, and so off we go. We're going to go north. We're going to check out what's up here. Hopefully, there's something up here. Hopefully, there is. It does mean we're going to do a little bit of off roading. So we'll just follow the road for the time being. We've got 20 miles an hour. I suppose the best thing about doing like this as well is that you know there's going to be a lot more fuel around for us if we do need to 
travel quite the distance. And we've already got quite a lot of fuel in there anyway, so that's fine. Oh, shh. Yeah, I fumbled with the controls. There we go. Right then. Some cracks and crackings there. Did I actually ch have I checked those bodies? Have I even been this far? It's a good question. Let's just smack into that. And smack into you. There we go. And we'll check. I should probably check my um, vehicle as well. Okay, so core panels are a little bit on the fucking side, but should be alright. Let me check. Let's see. Um, possibly. No, I haven't. I want. I want to. I want to left a science card there. I'll tell you that much for a fact. So we haven't checked these at all. Oh yes, please. We'll take that tablet. Steel toe boots. Yes. Uh, plastic canteen, steel toe boots. A uh, blue filter CBM. Nice. The wind is very strong. You should find more wind resistance clothing for your, for your mouth. Oh, yeah. I've actually got no clothing on my mouth whatsoever yet. Well, that is definitely something we should focus on. Very good point. Let's have some vitamins. Get myself nice and healthy. Right. Head. Uh, hang on a sec. I should have my bandana somewhere. Not my balaclava, sorry. My bandana. Balaclava, balaclava. There it is. We'll just use the balaclava. There we go. That's fine. And we'll carry on. So on fourth to greater yonder and hopefully we'll find something useful. There's the mines. Uh, oh my god, there's even more bodies over here. That's probably definitely worthwhile checking out actually though. I'm going to go ahead and equip my combat knife for this. And just take off my duffel bag for the time being. Assuming I can hit the crack without taking a hit myself. Bloody hell. It's a gold watch there. Ah, fuck it. I'll just continue doing what I was doing. Hiking boots. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of space very quickly, so I do want to take on this crack. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, oh, screw this. Where's my sudden block? I can't be. I can't be asked doing this. Come here, Cracky. Bye bye. Right. I'm going to go ahead and wear my duffel bag and put my combat knife back up. Um, please tell me our combat knife is still okay. Yes, it is. That's good. Right. So we've got some pork sticks. Uh, I'm really hoping for ammo, a gun, something, anything. More hiking boots, why not? Leather jacket, yes, anything leather. Propane, steel toed crap. Sports drinks, meth. Meth. Uh, <laughs> oh, absolutely sod all for me. Really? Oh well. Felt like a bit of a waste. At least we've got plenty of uh, drink from that though, and plenty of leather stuff, which is always nice. We shall continue on fourth to Greater Yonder. And something else. Let's uh, find the road again. 
Here it is. Alright then. On north. Ooh, there's a car there. That should be fine. And I'm going to stick a cutting in. I'll see you next time.